I've got four words that are either rekindle your love for Hearthstone or will strike fear right into your heart. Tank up, rank up, because guess what? Just a Car Warrior is actually a somewhat good deck right now. The only reason I say somewhat good deck is because who knows if there's going to be five other warrior archetypes that are better than this one. Let's be honest. If you're a warrior player right now, you have been eating and dining very, very fancily this past year because it feels like warrior just always has an archetype that is going to be on top because of how much they have overcorrected warrior warrior to the point where well just a car warrior apparently hit rank 14 legend on the first day of the season and it looks like there might be legitimate causes for this deck to be good now that odin warrior is a little bit less powerful and honestly i do believe that highlander warrior is i hate to admit it somewhat good but i don't think it's the best warrior list by any means we just need to figure out all the viable archetypes before we start de debating you know is boom boss the best is highlander warrior the best is odin warrior still have a shot or does this deck right here that runs deep minor brand just a card true heart as well as some other win conditions could this be a legitimate way to be playing warrior right now because the latter as of right now is trying really hard to beat demon hunter according to stinzy the guy who made this deck he went 11 and 3 versus demon hunter 10 and 10 versus other matchups that were not demon hunter but the real challenge of this deck actually comes in how difficult it can be to pilot this is very similar to old style warrior decks back in the day where you are trying to win by playing control but you're also trying to win by out Valuing, uh, out valuing every single deck because of the just a car gain for armor hero power and i'm not sure where exactly it is of course it's the last one tank up rank up baby it's going to be the best one every single time but this seems to be the only legitimate way of using just a car right now even though it did get buffed up to five mana it doesn't really seem like a lot of decks really care about spamming hero powers outside of warrior because you're gaining four life a turn who really doesn't want to do that as a warrior deck but the real challenge and the real stars of this deck are the deep miner brand the boom boss inventor boom but why is inventor boom suddenly good well it's because with a certain combination of zilliax the one where he summons a copy and also gives you a lifesteal option you get to summon three six five minions when you get to play this in combination with brand but then afterwards you can play inventor boom bring back four of these guys that attack immediately and this is just a gigantic amount of pressure that you can generate out of nowhere but it's also a legitimate win condition because if your opponent has nothing on the field then you just have 24 damage that is immediately going face. So tenadrils are starting to decrease in popularity now that people are aware of this synergy. But even if you don't have a way of killing your opponent, you have ways of being able to pressure them with boom boss to where you can remove the board entirely. You can set up this inventor boom combo. And this is like your legitimate win condition. You are essentially playing control warrior. You are dominating the board, gaining armor, preventing your opponent from being able to kill you until suddenly you have the brand able to be played. And then you have the these gigantic win conditions to legitimately close out the game so very similar to odin warrior you are playing your control deck until you have your combo ready and you start transitioning into slowly killing your opponent much like old control decks used to do with wallet warrior for example where you would just control the board and then suddenly you'd play like your groms your ragnaroses your big minions in order to actually start dealing the damage to end the game now you do also have the other way of playing the deck by just keeping just a car on top of the entire game and just tanking up every single single turn so that way your opponent literally has no way of being able to kill you but there are a lot of cards with a lot of pressure and and power that they can deal into the face right now so i don't think this is the best way of doing this but one interaction you need to be aware of is how does just a car work with with reno how does it work does it give you a upgraded reno hero power does it replace your reno hero power with the warrior hero power it's actually neither of those if you play just a car after playing reno it literally does not do anything so with that in mind make sure that you try to mulligan for your just a car so you can get that armor as quickly as possible save your reno for when you need it as an AoE because by the time that you use this and you care about the hero power, it's really not going to matter. You are usually only going to play Reno as a really fancy AoE that completely gets rid of everything. It's essentially your oh shit button and you get to press it whenever you're in any trouble. So that would be the way that I would utilize the Reno, but you got to know how the hero power synergies work because God forbid you played just a car hoping to get your old hero power back and then you realize you just played a five mana six four for essentially no value. But the rest of this deck has a bunch of individual cards like dirty 
Dirty Rat, Goggles, Bellowing Flames, a Heavy Plate, Viper. We have all of these single cards in the deck in order to try and make the Reno and the brand a little bit more consistent. But how often are you going to draw your entire deck to play brand by turn six? It's really not going to be that common. So keep in mind, you are a control warrior first. You're trying to deny your opponent's win conditions. And by the time that your opponent is playing their cards so slow or dealing essentially no pressure to you, that, my friends, is when you start to, to transition into the deep minor brand, the boom boss, and the inventor boom combo. And you truly make your opponent go boom. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I always forget to do this, but I gotta tell you guys what cards to keep in the mulligan. What cards do you want to keep in the mulligan? You want to keep your just a card against slower matchups, but usually I would just try to keep this card as soon as you can, just because you want to throw it as, as early as you can to start tanking up and ranking up. You are a warrior. You have plenty of ways of being able to survive important turns and to regain health, but it's very important that you sustain and you don't take too much damage too quickly, because God forbid you don't tank up rank up enough times in order to actually make up for the damage that you have taken. But you want to keep just a car. You can keep Hammer and a lot of your aggro matchups. You can definitely keep Bellowing Flames in your aggressive matchups. If you're against slower matchups, you can keep Armorer and the Shield Block for sure. You will always keep Needle Rock Totem. I would never keep Dirty Rat because this is a card you really want to use in a very specific way. And since we only have one rat, please don't play rat on turn two. Just, just don't do it. There's no reason to do it. Against Demon Hunter, you could debatably keep a Blade Storm to try and keep in order to deal with like a Zilliax, for example. Bash is probably a somewhat decent card, but I usually don't keep this in my mulligan. You can feel free to keep slam every now and again if you want to deal with like an early 2-2 or something like that. But odds are I would just try to use this as a draw card. So just to go over the mulligan one more time, the cards that I would highly recommend that you keep are going to be Blade Storm, Needle Rock Totem, Shield Block, Stone Skin Armorer, Bellowing Flames, Hammer, as well as Justicar. I would not recommend keeping Bran for any particular reason. And these other expensive cards are just way too expensive to actually keep. So there you go. There's the mulligan. I'm sorry that I keep forgetting to do that every now and again. But after explaining a deck for like eight minutes or something like that, sometimes I wonder is should I cut it now? Should I do whatever? But in all honesty, as long as I explain the deck, then I feel like the mulligan can always be something I can type in the comments. So guys, seriously, if I ever forget the mulligan, please ask me the mulligan in the comments and I will gladly give it to you. Someone with ADHD, you know, I tend to forget things and I don't want you guys to craft this deck and be like, wait a minute, Clark Hellscream didn't tell me the mulligan. So if I ever make that mistake again, please make a comment down below in any video that I make and I will give you the mulligan. But in all honesty, this warrior deck, I feel like has a lot of potential. It's a different way of being able to play it. It utilizes just a car and doesn't play Odin. So I feel like if you're someone that really enjoyed the old style of being able to play Warrior, then this is going to be a deck that really rings uh, in your ears and you really want to play this deck. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this kind of deck, whether or not you want more nostalgic decks, if you want more better decks, because I'm going to be going through a lot of the meta decks these next couple of days, but then after like a week or so playing the meta stuff, I will start having fun and I'll start coming up with these goofier combos that maybe you haven't seen. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, check out the Patreon if you're someone that wants to get coaching, deck optimizations, all this other perks and rewards for being able to support the content. Yada, yada, yada. Do all that stuff. Do it. I mean it. If you don't do it, then something will happen to your dog's favorite toy. I, I can't, I can't make, I, can't. I was, I was about to do something about like with animals, but I can't do that. I'm not, I'm not a heartless animal. But in any case, thank you for dealing with my riffing at the end of this video and we'll see you for the next one. Alrighty. Well, I guess we'll just keep the good cards here. Yo, what's going on, Joshua? Playing casual and fading, uh, facing eight uh, to ten meta decks feels like ladder 2.0. I mean, yeah, but you're not losing anything. So if anything, it, it is the safest games to concede, but it, 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 it sucks. But hasn't that always been what casual is? Job's it's done. where people safely test the meta decks before they actually risk their ranks for it. Excavate is, uh, is looking really good. Dude, the meta's slowing down right now, from what I can tell. So, like, Escape Warlock doesn't even sound like the worst thing in the world to me. Like, usually if someone were to come into my stream first thing, I haven't even woke up. I haven't even drank my Rogue Energy yet, was which is the last batch of uh, of the Rocket Pop. So, I'm gonna have to get something new here. I'm gonna get something new here to energize me again, because I am on E. But, regardless, uh, Excavate... <laughs> Is not looking like the worst thing in the world because like the meta is like overcorrecting. We went from countering Demon Hunter to where it's like, oh wait a minute, these these control decks are actually pretty good. It's like what, how the uh, the narrative is like almost shifted. Where it's like people are telling me now that Demon Hunter is bait to play. I I thought they were liars, 
And then right before the reset, like three hours before reset, I just wanted to quickly play some Demon Hunter, get my ranks up, and then go to bed. And then I proceeded to go 0-5 with a Demon Hunter. And so I don't know, bro. I think that I think that potentially Demon Hunter still might be a good deck. But dude, people are Omega countering it now. Do you have this in a bigger time? People are like actually doing what Hearthstone players do and they're finding the answers. Reno is the problem. I mean, Reno's always been the problem. Has that that's never changed. Reno was a problem the moment that we we started playing with it. Shaman has gone bye bye. I don't think Shaman's gone bye bye. I got a Shaman deck. I appreciate your content on Yo. YouTube and here, Clark. Ty. Yo, Kappa Lupa, uh, Lua. Thank you so much for the two months, man. Welcome back to the horde, my friend. Glad that we can help you out and glad that I can help you find a Hearthstone deck that you enjoy, man. Because we're just going to be doing more of that. We're going to be doing even more of that in uh, these, these new days, man. The new days of the meta. Okay, sorry, Hall. I'm trying to fix something. There we go. So now everybody knows that this is Tonto by, uh, by uh, Battles by Tonto. And everyone can now see the dog. It is a little bit out of thingy, but we will fix this later. I really hate fixing settings while in stream. Wait a minute, what? He dirty ran at the boom? Oh, you bastard. You ruiner of fun. You absolute ruiner of fun, dude. Now I wish I had just a car so I could out armor you. But it doesn't look like that's happening right now. So I'll just easily just do this. Alrighty. Probably should have used some of this uh, removal to kill his minion, then sink the seven to face. I wish Aviana Druid was fast enough. I mean, here's the thing about Aviana Druid. It is clearly a fun card, right? Aviana Druid is, is not going to have a tier one deck. And I think it's kind of unreasonable to look at that card and be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is, this is one, one of these days, bro. One of these days, Aviana Druid is going to be very good. All right. And y'all, y'all will thank me for having such patience. Okay, what the hell is this going on right here, man? I feel like I'm just gonna get... I'm just gonna get odin Have you tried Tendi's Rogue, Woke? Oh god, yo, Tic Tac, I saw you playing that a little bit yesterday, but I wasn't like... 100% tuned in, you know what I mean? Like, I was kind of perusing yeah, Twitch, getting some ideas time. for content tomorrow, and I did notice you with a deck. But I believe it was very early in your, um, in your testing, because from when I was, uh, when I was there, it looked like it was kind of average. 65% with it, though. I don't know, dude. This this meta is taking a really weird turn. Like we're rounding that theoretical corner. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna wait one more turn before playing the rat just to try and maximize Odin notes. It just really sucks that this is the most boring game in Hearthstone history, because there's like nothing I can do. And I really regret not just like throwing a control tool on the dirty rat earlier. I love the card and see the value in it. Yeah, I see. I mean, I I I, I understand the vision. Because, like, I, w I wanted Aviana to be, like, a card that you would just throw in there because Druid draws so heavily anyway that the legendaries would actually somewhat carry. But I don't think it's get it's gotten to that point yet. Okay, so he's just playing Highlander then? I mean, he doesn't seem particularly happy about that. But I'm also not particularly happy that I still have two duplicates in my deck. So, let's get that. Have I seen the HS uh, Esports point list on uh, on Donkey? Uh, whoever uh, it was who said that even a rank one finish would be enough for you was pretty uh, accurate with their assessment. Yep, exactly. Why? Do you, why? That's why I gave up, bro. The first month I was already doomed. And like, I'm just glad that somebody said that. Otherwise, maybe I would have done it. Cause imagine being Norwich. Like, imagine being Norwich, being like on the cusp of victory. And even though he had like what, like I think of rank five and a rank fourteen finish, it was not good enough, which are insane numbers. Let's the amount of time he put in was was ridiculous. What did I get last month? Actually, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't want to talk about it. Tic Tac, I I got the eleven star bonus. Isn't that good enough? Let's not let's not talk about semantics on how and why I got to my position to where I am now. Okay. Let, let's let's not let's not shame the streamer, okay? Oh man, your your rank's not small enough. Oh man, usually people want me to have the bigger number, you know? I finished around 3k. It was bad. 
You wanna know why? Cause like I tried playing Demon Hunter on the last day and then I went 0-5 with the deck. And like I have I have witnesses, I have people that were spectating me. They were the most unwinnable games of the entire season. Do I think I'd be able to finish top 50 twice or so? I mean, Tic Tac, I think I could, theoretically speaking. But I would have to give up everything else that I'm doing in order to do it. And that's kind of what I learned in doing these last couple of months, is that I have the ability, but in all honesty, if I stop doing what I'm doing with content for, for two months, that's a death sentence to my content, right? And like, that's why, that's why I like tried to do both, essentially. Oh, God damn it, bro. Okay, sweet. Never mind. All right, he already took my boom anyway. He could take this. So now I actually have the, the, the miner. So now I can play just a card for double hero power. It's literally the most indestructible thing that has ever happened in Hearthstone history. Just don't think that hard about it. So do I, I mean, I should keep, I should just keep drawing. But the question is, do I want to save draw for post uh, boom boss? And I think the answer is yes. So, because that answer is yes... Maybe I can blow up his brand or something. I think I could finish top 10 back to back, but I'd have to play a lot of Hearthstone. And see, that's exactly the, the thing, man. Like, I understand this is like grind for world champion, but it's like we're splitting hairs of splitting hairs of trying to qualify. It's like I have to eat shit, breathe Hearthstone, do not- I can't even make Hearthstone content. Because I would have to like play on two different accounts and if I'm playing on two different accounts then I'm not maximizing trying to learn the meta like the problem is like you have to focus so much on it And it just, it just sounds so miserable It just sounds so miserable And it's like the, the most un, like the most unfun that I, the most fun that I've uh, uh, sorry Try, Trying to say words, but the words are not coming out the worst experience that I've ever had with this game was playing Mining Rogue for a thousand games even though I hated the, the deck. But it had to be done because it was the best deck in the game. That, is, that, is, that does not spark enjoyment. You know what I mean? And so I do not wish to go down that path again. I just lost against Tendi Warrior and I am uh, tired of the times two, times two battle cry. Dude, imagine Bran getting nerfed to a seven mana card. <laughs> Uh, war Dude, they just they just make warrior cards so strong now because they're worried about warrior being weak again You need to play tendy rogue if you want to enjoy things. You know what tic tac? I'll add it to the list I got back to hearthstone and Whizbang and a bit before and started watching your videos for the first time catching the stream I loved uh, that one addressing data websites as I for uh, as I forgot to have fun. Thank you Honestly, dude biscuit. Thank you for that dude. Like a lot of people. Okay. I made that video just like, because first of all, I, my editor is on vacation right now, so I needed to, I needed to edit something. And I, honestly, I'm kind of in a pickle when it comes to editing uh, gameplay right now because the decks that I would have suggested were are completely different now. So it's like it's actually good that I didn't make those videos. I mean, I could still have made something about like Highlander Demon Hunter showcasing it or something. Um, and maybe I should still post that video, but regardless, um, a lot of people just like the. Uh, just like the general idea of the video, just talking about it. Like, yeah, I was kind of roasting the guy, but I was more so trying to address like a larger problem within Hearthstone, where it's like budget restraints really limit people more than most gamers would realize. And because of that, metas are affected by it. All right, come on, TNT me, dude, I want them all. Come on, I gotta, I gotta destroy the brand or the good cards. I need good cards dead, bro. There are too many not dead cards that are good. Okay, come on, man. I mean, at this point, we're just all in. Oh, come on. Sad times. These are very sad times that we live in. But then again, what else is new? <laughs> Your recent videos have been great in general. Thank you. I, I've been really trying to like, I've been really trying to get better about what I post, you know? Like, I don't want to I mean, I want to keep posting deck guides, obviously, but I don't just want to post deck guides. If a Reddit post comes up like that and I want to make a stupid video talking about it, I'll make a stupid video talking about it. Like, I feel like I've been learning from, like, the content creators that I watch. Because I'll admit, that last video was heavy Moist Critical-esque, all right? I tapped into my inner Moist Critical to make that video happen. But at the same time, I was trying to, like, actually make good points. Like, I wasn't just trying to, uh, like, mimic someone's formula. I was, like, actually trying to, like, bring up a good conversation piece. And I feel like I did that. Alrighty, well, hero power time. Look at me go, hero power time. 
We're just gonna have, we're just gonna fatigue this dude. Moist critical is a god, dude. I, I, I want him, I want to get him to play Hearthstone one day. He just doesn't seem interested in Hearthstone, and that's so freaking annoying because he loves card games in general. Ah, fuck me, dude. Yeah, why would, why would, he, why would anybody like this? Why, why should I ruin his life by introducing Hearthstone to it? All right, literally the only cards left in deck are draw cards. All right, there's the Reno. I need his boom boss dead, dude. Come on, kill him. I said kill him. I said kill him. Come on, bro. There we go. Yes, one more. Okay. All right, there we go. There are the big boys. Those are the big boys. The big boys are dead. And what's the last card? And there's the boo. <laughs> He doesn't have anything left, right? Like, that's just the game now. Bro, bro got controlled. Ah, oh, dude. Ah, oh, it sucks to play pure Highlander, doesn't it? Oh, it really sucks to play pure Highlander. GG, bro. Just a car back in 2024. Have I tried the new Egg Hunter? I have not, actually. What is the new Egg Hunter? I mean, I played Egg Hunter like a week ago, and I've yet to make the video about it. But it's like the next video that uh, that finals will be sending me when he's uh, back from vacation. That was the one uh, project we couldn't get finished before uh, before the patch went live. Boom boss could be so evil though. I mean, he's so necessary in a deck like this though, because like if we're gonna draw to the end of the deck and not have something like Odin, then like we need a wing. Besides just stacking armor, I wasn't going problems against Warrior with Shaman, uh, but I couldn't beat them anymore. Well, hold on a minute, Droogie. You were someone tagged me saying that uh, you were playing Rag Nature Shaman, which is based, by the way. Love the idea. Uh, but that war that, that deck wouldn't be good against Warrior though, even with the Rag combo, right? I mean, you could deal thirty, but then I don't think you're also dealing Rag on top of it. Also, I changed around the list, Droogie. I'm gonna try my own version of that deck. Because we're playing something like Rag, I actually Whoa, slotted in Jazz Base. So jazz Base might be good in my deck. I did not like Card Grader. Card Grader looked like bait to me, so I changed it. And that's like the great thing now, man. Like I don't have to blindly like I don't have to blindly play decks. I could just like play what I want, and even if the deck's not good, I could be like, eh, at least I tried. And so that's what I'm gonna start doing, man. Cause like when I looked at Card Grader, I'm like, there's gotta be a better card. 4-1 against Warrior? I mean, were they all Highlander? Like, if it's a deck like this, they could just stack armor, then... I don't know. Okay, Zombie coming in with the song request. Coming back in with these, uh, these theme songs. Dude, home Homeboy wants this wants this Twitch.tv uh, station to be an actual TV station. That's what's going on here. I will not be uh, denied. I'm gonna wait. Yo, Clark, look at this when you have some time. It's the OTK Grom that I told you about. Okay, so I got two decks I gotta look at now. We got Grom OTK and we got Tendi's Rogue. Which I imagine Tendi's Rogue is gonna feel very similar to, uh... I don't wanna say Jimmy Rogue, but I wanna say Yogg Rogue. Where it's like, it's a deck that's really good, but you really can't mess up with it. Yo, what's going on, Basque? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Tharby the Brand. <laughs> Do I just just a car? I want to draw cards so that way I can brand on six. I want to just draw cards. I will not All right, come on. Slam into armorer. Yes. Yes, one more. Tendi's Rogue is the most fun in the game to me right now. It's not even close. What about hero power, Druid Tic Tac? You were trying really hard to make that work. So glad that I'm not playing Tentacle. I mean, I have another version of this deck that I want to play, but it also does not run Tentacle. No! Okay, that's rude. No boop, no, uh, no armorer. So I guess now we just do this and slam. Slam first for good order. Welcome to the grand just a card 2024, man. It's very weird. Hero Power Druid is also good, but boring. Hold on a minute, Tic Tac. You play Control Priest. You can't say that Hero Power Druid is boring. But at the same time, he, the, the version you were playing was very similar to Control Priest, so I guess I could see my point. <laughs> it pretty much looked like uh, looked like a different version of Control Priest if Control Priest could stack armor. There's a version of a closed Ziliax with Dr. Boom. That's kind of what I'm playing right now. 
There's the Highlander version with that, but this is like Control Warrior with that, and it's honestly kind of genius. All right, come on. Dude. Well, it's what happens when you tunnel vision, I guess. Because I could have just done trade and boom and do this. I don't even care about these minions, though, dude. All I care about is drawing cards. Yeah, th that was always correct. We always draw. Burn them all. Maybe we wait until next turn to draw. Maybe that was correct. I don't know. I just don't have a clean clear anymore. So because I don't have a clean clear... I mean, I have a clean clear. It just takes a lot of resources. Alright, whatever. I wonder, like... This is one of those matchups where sometimes I wonder how many cards I need to be throwing out of hand. Because what if they play Boom Boss before me? But he also hasn't played Bran yet. I think it's too soon to start thinking like that. Odin is not winning me games. DK and Mage and Plague are countering it. Yep. Yeah. Odin Warrior is getting beaten by the meta now. Uh, looking for a I was playing Mino. It's against me. Sure. Come on. Armorer, dude. Armor me, dude. Come on. Armor er, armor her. I hardly knew her. Hey, damn it, bro. Fine, I'm forging. I have all the time in the world. My hero power is tank up, rank up. <laughs> I don't like warrior too much, uh, but that's a cool combo. Oh, the uh, the inventor boom, uh, Zilliax combo. Yeah, I think it's really cool. It actually makes me want to play boom. Wait, he's doing this already. Dude, you are dead. He is desperate if he's doing this now. Okay, come on. He, he is really, really desperate. He's doing this before he has the brand, dude. Like, holy crap. So I have to keep as many cards in hand to try and not get the wrong stuff milled. Because, come on, man. Double, double and, and nine. Come on, man. I'm just so unlucky with these style of decks. Oh, and Warrior's dead. It's not It's not dead, it's just weaker. And now other Warrior decks have chances to rise up. The problem with Odin Warrior is that it choked out the Warrior archetype. Like, it was play Odin Warrior or play a strictly worse deck unless you're trying to counter something very specific. Hey, Mr. Streamer Man, the link isn't working. It is a very new deck. Uh, I will get you a, a, a link here in a second. Honestly, if you go to Twitter, the Twitter has the code as of right now. This is the deck that I posted my going live tweet with. Dude, this guy's Omega Desperate, and I want to punish him. Come on. There she goes. So now we hero power, armor her into this. Yeah, Bobby. Bobby Poppy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Okay, fine. Two. Okay, fine. Three. Okay, less fine. Dude, really? 15 cards? Unluckiest person in the world, by the way, but I'm gonna blow up his deck a lot more than he blew up mine. And honestly, him destroying my cards in deck, low-key kind of helped me. So I guess we we take those. Odin was dead even without a nerf with all the free spells and nerf weapon. I mean, dude, it was counters. And honestly, people weren't even countering Odin Warrior with shards. They were trying to counter Demon Hunter. But it also technically counters Warrior too. Like, stopping the face right now is Omega important. It's just Omega important right now. Alright. So, Skadoosh. The question is, do we trade the Viper? And I think the answer is yes. But at the same time, bro, hold on a minute. Am I going to lose this game because of, because of him having the bombs at the right time? This dude actually did a full YOLO Hail Mary and God heard his prayers. Come on, man. I gotta destroy Bran, I think. Maybe, is there a possibility I can out-armor this? Okay. Get rid of the escapades. Three bombs left in deck. He's gotta play cards. How many streamers are you gonna ask about Highlander Warrior? Highlander Warrior, how is it? Every Demon Hunter running Hell Yeah? Well, okay, bro, here's the thing about about Hell Yeah. I mean, if you're running, if you're going to Plague DK, you ha you need to have a weakness. Plague DK is your weakness is Warrior. Be grateful it's there because it keeps Warrior numbers down for the exact reason that you're complaining. Because you're like, oh man, Plague DK is the automatic counter. 
What are we doing? I'm gonna just I'm gonna destroy these cards anyway. They are they are they are going to die anyway. But like here but like here's the thing though about about Highlander Warrior. Highlander Warrior does really well at top legend because top legend players would rather be caught dead than playing Plague BK. Okay, amalgam bands. Boom. Dirty rat. Two cards remain. I will so just gain armor and chill. I'm not gonna have enough time to out armor this. Dude, this is really because he drew the three freaking bombs. The three bombs absolutely wrecked me. No matter the danger, I'll always kill okay. the discovery. Man, low key doesn't even do that much. I am corrupt of cards. I will not be denied. His brand survived six bombs. I mean, that's not what mattered. <laughs> I mean, it's just the fact that he's four cards in, uh, deeper into, uh, or, uh, I I'm gonna be four cards deeper into Fatigue. Is there, like, a card I could discover that adds cards into my deck? The armor, the armor from just a card maybe makes a difference. Why did he draw? I have no goddamn idea, bro. But if he loses, it's on him, not me. He made the difference of four, a difference of three. I'm here to just bow, uh, uh, just uh, bestow another banger. I need all the bangers right now. Wait, hold on a minute. Did I get, uh, oh, I did not get um the other request from earlier. Sorry, this game is demanding my maximum attention because this dude is trying to throw the game. This guy's really trying to throw. Wait, did he just draw into it? Oh, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Sorry. I'm setting up the list right now. A little but I think he's just doing power. this for tempo. He's just doing this for tempo. Tempo gamer. So now I think I have to do this into this. For a stand -up? Can I actually like out armor this guy? Oh, really? Never lucky. Never, never lucky, bro. I could have, I could have sunk two damage, and that's actually important now. Or I could have had, you know, this, this past turn, but it is what it is. All right, so it's just a Reno off now. Dude, I could totally win this. I could totally win this, bro. Get just a car. Just a car armor actually made a difference. Hold on a minute, dude. Don't you dare get lucky. Don't you dare get lucky, bro. What mechs is Boom gonna summon? Uh, it would be Zilliax, but as uh, Skylar just said, Zilliax got bombed. So, we lost our mech. Okay, sure. I don't know, dude. I, I feel like I have a chance. Okay, stop, stop rolling. Whoever rolls this hero power more is gonna win. Mm. Okay, okay. All right. Between this and this, these are the hero powers that matter. Sanitize, sure. I think I'm gonna play this now. What cards does he have left? Choose a friendly mech, summon a copy of it that attacks an enemy then dies. That's kind of cool, I guess. So, oh god, man, here's the thing about Highlander decks. I'm looking at his deck, but it's not giving me any information. I think I just gotta play the trial by fires. Okay, and if this survives, I can Reno Bullet and I have Tempo. Okay. Dude, let's go! Yo, let's go! Did I see the top list on Donkey? I did not. Oh, another Sanitize? Oh, you ha he discovered one. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Dude, I, I actually have a shot to win this because he drew cards. I need shield block from Garrow's gift, exactly. Yes, it's armor. It's armor, dude. What are these cards? Escapades? Oh, it's Viper. Well, that's kind of a problem. Gotta 
knock it out. Alright, come on. Dude, yes! I'm getting the perfect hero powers! I'm, oh my god, I think he lost! I don't know what that last card is, but it, it needs to be a minion. And if it's a not, then GG. He has to play the shield block. He has to play the shield block. Yo, what's going on? Stinzy, dude, the just a car carrying right now, but my opponent lo legitimately threw. Okay, what the hell? These are garbage. Where's my where's my heavy plate? Where's my heavy plate right now, dude? He's so cooked, I don't I mean he might be, but then again, I'm taking a lot, man. But then again, he's at 17. He needs to roll like armor from the hero power. Oh god, no. No, stop. Dude, no, 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 no. This is an emotional roller coaster. Stop it. No! Oh my god, this is the worst one! Oh my god, this might lose it! Oh, dude, he needs to roll into this draw one next. Otherwise, there's no god. A good old battle between two cowboys. He has two turns? I have three turns. So therefore, I win. Therefore, just a car carry. He's dead. It's over. It's literally ogre. Justice for Justicar. This guy literally lost the game by playing the calligrapha. Wait, what? No. No! Dude, there's no way! Are you fucking kidding me? If I had two extra damage! <laughs> it needs to die, it needs to hit him in the face. <laughs> hit him in the face! Wait! No! 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 Come on! Couldn't have done it better myself. Couldn't have done it better myself. What do you mean, hold? We're dead because we're one off! My leg! Ah! Wait, does it not have any damage? I still, okay, I still should have won this Couldn't game because myself. the hero power was a draw hero power. That is, this guy played like crap and got rewarded for it. I mean, I was doomed anyway. I was doomed anyway, but oh my god, this guy so got saved. This dude made a game throwing misplay playing the calligrapho. L L L L L L L L L. Man, the only the only thing that's an L is my opponent's skill level. Yeah, that's that's the real L here, dude. Like he literally played so bad. I deserve that. Just a car actually carried there, so that's just so not fair, dude. I I I did I did the skillful plays, but my opponent got the W. I, I call bullshit, bro. I call bullshit, and that's exactly why I don't play competitive Hearthstone anymore. You could legitimately be the better player and not get the W. It sucks, don't it? My opponent legitimately high-rolled me too by getting the three bombs. Oh my god, that greedy fucking bastard. How dare he high-roll me in a card game? As if that's the problem. That's the problem? What the fuck? Also, Clark, don't pay attention to the name of the band Smiley Face. Smiley? Wait, what? Don't pay attention to the name. Oh no. Oh wait a minute. They said the name. They said the thing. They said the thing. Now I can't not do the thing. Why are you guys? Why do you guys gaslight me to do this? Why do you guys always gotta gaslight me to do this? As I misspell heaven in Spotify. Mm, a conundrum. <laughs> All right. I don't know what the hell this guy is doing, but oh boy. Make spell druid work? Bro, there are some things that not even God can make work, and that's one of them. The, yeah, the Gattle Snake loads at the end of the turn. Yeah, I, I realize that. I, re I realize that. It, it is what it is. <laughs> like, I thought the Gattle Snake would work. Because I, 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 wanted I wanted to believe in it, okay? I wanted to believe in it. At least give me the belief, guys. Yo, what's going on, Cokes? I'm doing all right. Uh, I, had a, I had a nice day off yesterday. 
I have some responsibilities that I'm currently procrastinating, but I should honestly do them by tonight. At least start them by tonight, so that way I can finish them by tomorrow and not feel like, uh, feel like crap. But, besides that, I'm, 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 doing, I'm doing okay. I had, I had a nice Easter. I had a nice Easter, saw some family. Uh, we'll just do this, I think, pass. I don't think we should waste the coin for anything. But yep, hung out with my family, talked with my, uh, my family about basketball, because, uh, it's Mars Madness, really big thing in Indiana. Is April rank one Clark myth real? Uh, it's always real. If it's rank one legend in Clark, clearly it's real because I always have the rank one legend gem next to me in the thumbnail. So clearly that means I'm rank one legend, right? Clearly. To all the people Clark, that are like Lamal you Clark, you've never hit rank one. Like, uh, Smiling yes, I have. In one. Will I play Highlander Demon Hunter today? Most likely not. Fall Highlander Demon Hunter's kind of fallen off. Like it was, it was kind of a good deck, and then what people found a way to beat it, and now it's just kind of falling off. Discard five, Brown on six, Year Power on seven, and Arena rip just a card value. Well, here's the thing: I don't have those cards yet. So just a card on four, tank up, rank up against the deck that does not want to deal with my armor. We just win now. Uh, the women's NCAA has been lit this year, bro. There's one name you gotta know. There's one name that you gotta know if you're watching uh, women's NCAA, and if you know, then you know. And I just, I just think it's very funny because what her name is. Do I, do I have to say your name now? You guys don't know. You guys don't watch women's basketball enough in order to realize at least ten of your favorite players. I mean, I only know one, but <laughs> I'll be honest. I've never had an active brand on six with this deck. I mean, you're not supposed to. It's Control Warrior. You control, you're a control warrior first, brand warrior second. Is that the hero power uh, chain? Is, is just a card worth it? Yes. Just a card carried that awful game yesterday. Or that awful game uh, last game. Where it's like, even though my like I was pl uh, I was playing very well, my opponent was trying to throw the game. It came down to luck. Like, my skill carried me to the very end, at least. And that's the goal with a deck like this. Okay, I do not have a, uh, a blade storm. Can I find a blade storm? There's a blade storm. Okay, see? See, when you call the cards, they find a way. So we'll just do this into this, you chill. Of course, how can I have the image if you haven't reached rank one legend, bro? Bro, yo, does the McDonald's burger actually look like that? Does the Papa John's pizza actually look like that with that really, really stringy cheese? Or do they do this in order to sell you on the idea so that way you become hungry? That's what my videos do. They make you hungry for Hearthstone. They don't, they don't have to be, you know, the best deck in the game. They just gotta get you excited. It's just gotta get you fiending. It's got, just gotta make you hungry. All right, I'm always on the hunt. I'm always hungry. Always hungry. That's why I'm. That's why it's. I'm, I'm an awful person to take the dinner. All right. I, I will. I will run the money. I will run the bank. Uh. I think it's just trial by fire. Don't complicate things here. Trial by fire. Trade the viper. I like. I wanna. I wanna hero power. Or like dirty rat and the sanitize could be pretty goofy. But I think I wanna save the sanitize until after he like plays like a stealth or something, right? I guess technically I should have traded this first, but who cares? They make me hungry for- <laughs> what? I get the joke, Thor boy, but where did that come from? Where, where did that- I- I- Whoa, bro. I just suddenly look up. First chat that I see is hungry for cock. <laughs> that, 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 I'm awake now. That, that, whoa, what? Okay, I'm definitely awake now. What's going on here? Yo. Yeah, everyone put a ha huh right now in chat. Like, that was so unexpected. Maybe a slower Odin deck with just a car. I don't know. You need the uh, you kind of need Reno. Eh, you need Reno. You definitely need Reno. I was laughing like crazy when I remember that Paladin does not have Wind Fury. Well, Paladin still does have Wind Fury. They have the the horn weapon. So you're you picking and bias. So we don't know what he got yet. Do we find out? Let's find out. What did he get? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you better. Okay, he, he needs to. Okay, he needs to overdraw me. But I don't think he's gonna do that. I don't think he's gonna have the opportunity now that I know what this is. Cause there's a nourish in there, right? Yeah, there's a nourish in there. Oh, dude, nice, nice as Alina. Oh, all right, let's go, dude. It's it's a, it's an armor off. Oh my god, this feels like back in the day. This is literally tank up, rank up meta. Is there something we could tie to get the deck code? Uh, if exclamation mark deck is not working, uh, my most recent Twitter post has his deck code. So you can either go to Twitter or you could be a little bit patient as the uh, the application spits the code. Because as of right now, it's it's doing something. Do All right, I can't have too many cards in hand. Got to remember this. But we still need Totem and we still need... Um... It's heaven and hell. Don't think I'd throw that out. Yeah, here we go. Oh, oh wait a minute! I could have just traded my. Whoops. I am not always. Whoops. Perfect. Was not paying attention. Somehow on caffeine, but not paying attention. That's just how my brain is. Yo, what's going on, scrubbing bubbles? Good to see you, dude. Snake warlock should also work with uh, new cards. End game might make it work. I'm gonna be honest, dude. The only thing I've seen end game actually work in that isn't Omega Copium is uh i have a version of wheel lock that uses it with uh with a dark alley pack might be pretty decent there yo renu me sorry to pronounce that good to have you here welcome welcome thank you for the prime thank you for that support thank you for your confidence in your prime because you can only trust one streamer with that and i promise i will give it a very good home and it will eat very well it'll 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 eat like a king it'll it'll eat like a prince of the horde so thanks for being here, man. Thank you for that support. And guys, don't forget to spam those emotes. What druid hero this? This is not a druid hero. This is, oh, oh this? Oh, this is uh, the um, the death knight for uh, for druid. And kobolds and catacombs, they uh, they had an expansion. Actually, no, okay. After kobolds and catacombs, right? Yeah, because it was frozen throne. Frozen throne had every single hero turn into a death knight and they had hero cards based off of it. Legitimately one of my favorite eras of Hearthstone history. Is it part of standard? Only if you get it from Hearth. Uh, Hearth Stonebrew, it's one of, the, one of the 13 hands he gives you. Okay, so hold on a minute, man. Again, 10 cards, one duplicate. Yeah, uh, I, Ricky Bobby, I got a video that talks about the hands from Hearth. Uh, I would check that out if you're wanting information specifically on that. Because Hearth came out like right before Whizbang, and a lot of people are hyped by it. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Okay, top deck Needle, so that way I can play Reno and just delete it. Oh my god! <laughs> He's trying to pop it! <laughs> okay, alright, respect. Respect, dude. Doing what you're trying to do, but get out of here, bro. Get him out of here. Delete his Yetus from the game. I know, right? It's just so not fair. Wait, hold on a minute. Wait, did I just fuck up? No. Because naturalize into, into um, Togwoggle doesn't make anything. So Reno crazy. makes me want to cut Just myself. Like well, he, he uh, 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 You should have said shoot you yourself because he's got a bullet not a knife what? So, you know three out of ten Psychology in terms of the response uh, But I understand Reno makes me hurt. Okay, Reno Reno makes me ask what have I become? My sweetest friend Everyone I know goes away because I literally delete them from the board and there's only one spot left So I can only have like one friend but after you delete the board, no one wants to come out and play, you know? That's just kind of the issue with Reno right now. Just like me, real shit, thank you! <laughs> How's the lady friend, Clark? She's doing all right. She's been, uh, she's had a busy uh, week with work. Unfortunately, there's not really uh, anything new to share because nothing new is really just wait for an opportunity for her schedule to free up, and then we got some date ideas planned. So, fingers crossed it happens soon. Sooner rather than later. One shot is all I need. Thank you, King. You a real one? I mean, I'd rather be a real king than, than a fake god. You know what I mean? I'd rather be a real person and have fun. Okay, bro, if you're gonna play Cogwoggle, you're gonna switch decks and you're gonna have less cards in the deck. The web unravels. <laughs> I think he just literally put that together. <laughs> Dude, he's so fucked. The web unravels. 
Go on, play the king. Rather be a real king than a fake god, am I right? Play your king, dude. No, go ahead. Oh, what happened? Oh, oh, mmm, mmm, what happened? Oh, uh, what happened, dude? Okay, I, I guess you don't, I guess you don't value your cards enough. Okay, hold on a minute. I actually can't play the boom boss yet. Because there's a possibility that I don't draw all the thingies. Right? At the same time, double trade... Nah, I should. I gotta wait on the boom boss. We gotta. We gotta do good order. So we just play the zilly billy because he's a silly little guy. Uh, this will trade here. I'm gonna shield slam literally just to get it out of my hand. Oh wait, I should have regular slammed. No, actually. Well, I guess it didn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I also come to you with my deepest struggle. I lost against a Highlander Rainbow Buff DK. I think I'm done with Hearthstone for the day. You're allowed to take a break after that. You are you are allowed to take a mental health day after something like that. It, it, it all makes it, it makes sense, dude. Trust me, I get it. What's happening uh, when Justicar after Reno play Justicar then play Reno? From what I heard, it doesn't do anything. I haven't tested it, so I can't speak for sure. From what I can tell, uh, it doesn't do anything. Cards. Okay, so we just win now. Control blood, is it fine? It looks like it's in a really rough spot right now. Control blood has no win condition. You know what would be good? What if, uh, what if we get blood DK a card? Or every single time they gain lifesteal, they get damage too. They call the Odin of DK, but specifically for Blood DK. I don't know. I think it's a good idea. Maybe I should get my ideas to Blizzard and see what, what they can't cook up. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba bow Against a Druid? What the hell am I supposed to keep against a Druid? They don't have any good cards. Does nothing. Same as before. Just a card doesn't upgrade. <laughs> Dude, no, hold on a minute. Just a card let, lets you choose the Reno Hero Power every turn. That's actually what it does. Yeah, there we go. It upgrades your Reno Hero Power, so that way you get to choose the Hero Power every single turn. But you can't choose the same Hero Power twice in a row. That's why it's balanced. So you can't just choose Discover or, or Armor every single time, but you can choose it between them. Highlander Druid, keep Reno. Highlander Druid's like the only good Druid deck from what I can tell. Okay. I can wrap the 5-1. Oh, I'm such a genius. How is he so smart? Okay, well, kind of makes sense that it should work that way, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. It does not work that way. <laughs> Just like the Shaman Hero Power. Exactly, dude. Now now you guys see the vision. Now you guys understand what we're cooking here. I don't want to play Blade Storm on five hands. I'd rather just do this and draw cards because yeah, I'd rather have blade storm than maybe deal with like a dragon golem or something Like shield slam is a versatile card, but it, here we just need to stop the damage and keep the armor count high Is this actually reno how does reno horseman with the head work? What if the head comes after reno will reno have two heads? Wait, what uh wouldn't the head replace the hero power? I, it would it replaces the hero power does it not so therefore it would replace the reno hero power I will Pretty not sure that's how that would work, but then again, I wouldn't know and I have not done it I don't know dude the idea of a reno Play a uh, reno rainbow ugh, so disgusting. I don't know dude. Maybe we just make the deck focus on drawing Then you could put reno in it But it's like then you really don't have a reason to play horseman and horseman actually serves a purpose Horsemen is essentially, you know, generate infinite discovers, which is why they they have it designed the way that they do. Because imagine how broken that it would be if the horsemen immediately started. Um... Like imagine if the horsemen immediately started uh, discovering undeads. It would be it would be busted because they need to find a corpse bride every single time. Oh yo, it's that song that I put in my in my uh, trolling video today. And I actually feel like it complemented the, uh, the, 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 the clip perfectly. Like, I was, I was, I was, I was in the lab last night. I was in the lab last night. And when I was, when I was, uh, picking songs after, uh, figuring out the, the clips I wanted to use, I was 
was like, how the hell am I gonna sell people on this day nine uh, clip? It's like six minutes long. I need a long song to make this happen. So I immediately started looking through my Spotify and then I found this. And then like, I just like, I do what I do. I play the song uh, alongside the clip before I actually put it into the video editor. And it had the perfect moments, man. It literally like, it, the clip worked with the song. Like, I, I felt so freaking confident after seeing that happen yesterday. Like, I just felt so happy seeing it, see it work. I will not be denied. It's like an artist that sees his vision come to life and he can't help but crack a smile and feel proud. Dude, what is it with armor being like the last card? Plague Rainbow DK, uh, probably an issue for this deck. I mean, kinda, kinda not. I mean, Rainbow, not necessarily, but Plague, obviously, because if they just suffer a bunch of Plagues, then you will just lose. Oh shit, should I have Dirty Ratted sooner? No, because I can always just get rid of that with, with, um, with Reno, but I don't have card draw here. I don't want a rat yet. Hmm, a conundrum. I just gain armor and just ignore. I don't want this to die because I need the draws. I will not be denied. Just maximum gain armor. Okay, there's the armorer. So if we top deck Reno, we just insta slam it. Can we canonically call the troll scream videos uh, rather than trollden? Troll scream actually goes really hard. I don't, I don't mind that actually. Troll scream. That sounds a lot, a lot cooler I than Troll Den, I have to admit. Troll Scream. I'll actually consider that, dude. That's, that's not a bad idea. D5 right now having great success with, uh, with Sif Mage. Fun House and Miracle Road. Uh, Sif Mage is doing really well right now, yeah. Okay, there's Zilly Billy. I could kill the ENR, which is what matters. Which is what we need to do. But I also do just have Sanitize. It's actually just sanitize into armor, I think. Hmm. A we could also just do this now and just say, fuck you, you're not gonna do anything about it. And then I could do I this and a draw four, potentially. Denied. But ENR has to die. I don't wanna live the ENR. I don't, I don't wanna let, let the ENR live. I can't let that happen. That's a bit too crazy, a bit too bold, if you will. There's, there's something in my friend group called living life a bit too brisk. And I think that is a bit too brisk. <laughs> Gotta keep that tradition alive. Okay, so we still don't have Reno, but we have at least of the brand coming out next turn. The dragon's gonna mill his next card. I don't even think I need to swing the weapon here. You nerfed Shatter twice, but not Reaver, because Shatter worked really well My in a specific deck and was like a combo enabler. Sh uh, Reflections is a really good card. That's it. Sh Reflections is a card you have to use in a very specific way in order to make it good. It could be removal, it could be combo, it's a versatile card that should be powerful. I'm with that guy, I would've left it up. I mean, sure, but what if- I don't want ENR to survive when it has ramp capability, though. Especially in a deck that can have, like, cover artists, I'd rather just wait a turn. Because we also haven't drawn the Reno yet, either. Because, like, what's the difference between waiting to do it in this turn versus to do it the previous turn? It's- it's not that big of a difference. And now, if anything, I have better chances of hopefully getting the Reno. But it looks like we are slightly low rolling. Guess we'll knock this out. I will not be All right. Reno me, dude. Come on, where is it? If not, then we're just gonna have to boom boss, and I don't want to just boom boss. Druid and ramp; those things don't to go, don't go together these days. I wonder what would have happened if uh. Well, I guess, you know, unnerfing the whelp doesn't really matter, right? I mean, it being a 2-1 is not going to change its its place in the meta. And I was telling people for the longest time, people want, like, that card to be, like, Omega deleted. And it's like, bro, you can't make that card 3 mana. There's literally, there would be no point in playing it. By the way, what's going on, Ben, from work? Good to see you, man. Have I seen one of the comments in your video about a guy who clearly struggles with the English language? Uh, that's, that's a lot of comments, bro. That's not exactly... That's not narrowing things down. You know what I mean? If anything, you just made it more complicated to identify what the problem is. I will not be denied. 
I mean, even though I did upgrade my hero power, <laughs> I still need to be trolling, man. Come on. I need my, I need my, uh, my armor at this point. Armor or Reno. I'm just really worried about the, the egg getting out of control. My, my opponent has too many eggs. Oh no. I took a year, uh, break, came back and hit triple, hey, uh, greetings, resident sleeper armor up, resident days, sleeper bro. armor up, resident sleeper. I can take the hit, resident sleeper. Welcome to the, the grand hit, tournament, dude. resident sleeper tank up, resident sleeper tank up, resident good, sleeper. No I'm out of cards. Makes infinitize, uh, dual card with druid. Wait, what? We Make infinitize. Do you want infinitize to be a dual class card in druid? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. All right, dirty rat. Hello, hello, goodbye. A uh, goodbye, idiot. Goodbye. Cards are gone. Bye, bye, idiot. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, idiot. Nice try. You played a card that was weak into Reno. It's kind of funny how they printed Ristraza and Reno in the same set, but I, that's none of my business, apparently.